Thanks for staying with us, taking a live look outside on the CorwinAuto.com Valley Skycam. We've got some cloudy skies at this hour here in the fargo moorhead area. Had a shower just a little while ago. That has passed off towards the east and the southeast. Current temperature 64 degrees winds. Right now are calm and they'll remain rather light as we head through the day today. Some temperatures across the region, 61 Bismarck, 65 in Aberdeen and in Huron, 63 in Alexandria, 53 up in Bemidji. As we take a look at those temperatures closer to home, 56 up in Grand Forks, 57 Thief River Falls and Devil's Lake a little cooler off towards the north with the clear sky that allowed some of the, the warmth on the uh, surface to escape. But where we've got the clouds of the south, temperatures remaining in the 60s, 63 in Detroit Lakes, also 63 in Wadena and over in the Jamestown area. Satellite, we've got the clouds and again aloft, not showing it much. We've got the smoke and that smoke rather extensive. It extends all the way down into southeastern portions of the U.S. So we're not the only ones dealing with the hazy conditions. We are dealing with some rain, that primarily in the Southern Valley, and that's where it's going to stay as we head through the next few hours. It'll continue to slide off towards the east and southeast and slowly get on out of here in the next few hours. And we'll see a break in the action later this afternoon, a chance for a few showers and thunderstorms. Speaking of thunderstorms, some big time thunderstorms down in south central portions of South Dakota, some severe weather just north of the uh, interstate there, north of I-90, and that will continue to slide off towards the southeast. For us, not anticipating any severe weather, but again, we could hear a few rumbles of thunder as we hit through the day today. More severe weather over in parts of southern Missouri. Those storms will continue to slide off towards the south, and also with a lot of rains and flash flood warnings for parts of the uh, Missouri area. For us, we've got the rain this morning in the southern valley. Again, that's going to get on out of here. As we hit through the afternoon hours, we'll see a few breaks in the sky, and Again, it's going to be a hazy sky where you do see the uh, sun coming out. And then as we head through the afternoon and evening hours, we will see that chance for a few isolated showers and some thunderstorms. Not going to be widespread by any stretch of the imagination. That will happen tomorrow. Today's highs mainly staying in the 70s. Overnight lows dropping down into the 50s and 60s. And then tomorrow, again, it looks like a little bit more widespread rain with a few embedded thunderstorms possible. And by the time we get into the evening hours, that rain will Get on out of here. Tomorrow's highs a few degrees cooler than today. Many areas today, mid to upper 70s. Tomorrow, some low to mid 70s for highs. And by tomorrow evening, cooling back down into the 60s. Chance for some precipitation to accumulate across the area in the form of some rain. And again, the exact area is not set in stone, but we do have that chance for some rain out there. Some uh, inches, or an inch or so, where you get the, some of the uh, thunderstorms setting up as we head through the day tomorrow. But most of us are going to see a tenth to about a half an inch of rain as we hit through the next 24 to 48 hours. Today, some upper 70s. Tomorrow, some mid 70s. And again, where skies do clear at all and the sun comes out, you will see some hazy conditions out there. Friday, right now, looks nice. And it's going to be warmer with lots of sunshine, albeit a hazy sunshine in mid 80s. We'll continue with mid 80s for Saturday, the 4th of July. Most of Saturday looks dry. It's late Saturday night. And then on into Sunday, we'll have that chance for some thunderstorms. A few more storms possible on Monday after a very warm weekend, cooling down just a touch as we head through your Monday and Tuesday. That is a look at your weather forecast. We'll have more of the Valley Today Ag Show coming up right after this.